So I've been looking into how do you varnish over the top of a watercolour. So this was an existing watercolour that I had and I don't know if you can see this was um, I used a spray varnish first and then I used a varnish that I painted on at the end and you can kind of just see there I can see that you can see at the edge there you can see where those brush marks didn't quite continue all the way to the edge of the paper and I don't know if you can see but um, you can also see some almost like brush marks in the varnish and to me that's not really ideal um, so not exactly what I was looking for but what I have to say is that in terms of the robustness of this and, and how much protection this now has I'm really um, happy with that there, there's absolutely nothing going to occur to that watercolour when it's got such a good thick layer of varnish over the top and of course you could use matte or satin or gloss the three different types but you know I, overall I think that it's really good protection and um, and obviously if you use a high quality varnish then you'll end up with some some great results so these are the varnishes that I used I just used uh, this um, varnish here out of the spray bottle and I sprayed that on first two layers and then I used the Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium and Varnish but to be honest I think I'll probably use a, a matte one which I've got as well I'll probably use a matte one because I just don't think that um, having a shiny surface looks quite right when it comes to watercolors so that's my that's my plan is to use the matte instead and I might end up th this varnish here was a slightly cheaper version than the Liquitex um, spray varnish but I think probably even though this is probably fine um, I think I'll probably uh, use the Liquitex next time to just um, see if there is less movement of the pigment or maybe I just need to do some more layers because you can kind of see here and I don't know if you can see that very well but you can see that the, the, some of the pigment got lifted up when I did the brushing varnish. But, but um, maybe I just didn't do, do enough layers with the spray varnish. But uh, this is really good and I think that what I could do with this is then mount this onto a canvas. So this could be mounted onto a canvas and then wrapped around the sides. And, and that's what I'm thinking of doing. Painting watercolours still on a board and then varnishing and then putting onto a canvas so we'll see how this continues into the future thanks for watching and i'll see you in another painting episode good night